What's up guys, how y'all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing another World of Tanks video and for those of you that are new here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and for my regular viewers and subscribers, hello, hello, welcome one and all and as always a like would be greatly, ever so greatly appreciated and today I should be bringing you my review of the very, very nice, very nice E25 Premium, Premium Tier 7 German tank destroyer this uh tank destroyer basically costs uh, eight thousand gold coins and whatever whatever it is that you're doing right now if you if you have the ability to buy tanks premium tanks if you're you know in a full-time job full-time employment etc etc and you have the ability you know to buy a premium tank every now and then and if you currently have that ability i want you to put down whatever it is that you're doing whatever you're doing whatever it is that you do rush home turn on xbox live and turn on uh, 360 uh, world of tanks and purchase this tank now if you are um, a teenager if you're a teenager maybe maybe you're unemployed you know maybe you know something like that and uh, what you can do basically is, like they say in the States, McDonald's is always hiring. So what you need to do is you need to go to McDonald's and work for them for like like a day or two. Just a day or two. That's, that's all you need to do. Just a day or two and you'll have enough to buy yourself an E25. Now if you're a kid, if you're a kid, if you're a snotty little kid <laughs> if you're a kid say mommy and daddy i want to e25 for christmas because christmas is coming up and they can give you you know a voucher for um, eight thousand gold coins now why am i telling you all of these things you know why am i presenting you with all these options you know and keep in mind that i, I was very dubious about do, uh, doing this review i was very hesitant i didn't know whether or not i should uh, do this review basically because of the fact that pretty much up until now uh, up, uh, considering you know I have I have not played all the tanks in World of Tanks but so far in my lifetime of uh, World of Tanks this is the most OP tank out there so far that I have experienced this is the most overpowered oh my god OMF G O M F F G yeah that's correct O M F G this is by far O M F G this tank is O P to the max it is seriously seriously O P and it's not down to the tank actually it's not down to it is down to the tank and it isn't down to the tank if you want to have a blast if you want to have a good time on World of Tanks guaranteed every single match buy this tank buy this tank if you ever wanted to if you ever played world of tanks and said to yourself oh, I, I wish there was a glitch you know that i could you know a, a god mode or something like that you know did uh, it's not necessarily a god mode in this tank but it's a it kind of comes close because when i play in this tank i definitely definitely feel like i'm at a severe severe advantage over the other tanks in battle and it uh, to tell you the truth and don't tell anyone it almost feels like you're cheating it seriously seriously does you know it, it honestly it it it, 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 I, I, <laughs> it just feels like you're cheating you know it just it anyhow anyhow let's let's take a look at those stats real quick and I'll and I will tell you uh, I'll break this tank down and I'll showcase it and I'll I'll, I'll explain it everything that I'm talking about everything that I'm talking about okay lousy armor lousy armor 50 at the front 30 at the sides 30 at the rear but it's low profile it's a very low profile tank and the armor is angled very very well expect bounces you know most definitely expect bounces you know a uh, speed limit 65 kilometers per hour this tank is so fast it's so fast but you're not there to use that speed you know as a scout you know chasing 
of a tanks it's for relocating it's for relocating when uh, uh, a flank on your team is about to collapse and you need to go and support them or it's for establishing yourself in a perfect sniping position because you are a TD and you you'll get there quicker basically than anybody else you have fantastic acceleration in this thing unbelievable really really good view range 360 pardon me max that out as much as you can you know with the binoculars trust me trust me trust me you have to use binoculars on this thing if you want to get you know have the OP factor you know <laughs> uh, turret ro rotation 44 degrees not bad you know it, that's you know it's definitely not not bad at all you know it's it's not the end of the world but you are a TD you know so you are forward facing and um, w once in the blue moon you know that the rotation will let you down but you know you, you shouldn't really be brawling so to speak you know you really shouldn't be brawling with other tanks if you are you're kind of you you basically you're you're doing it wrong you know um, what does this tank come with it comes with a 75 mil pack 42 l70 nothing special there nothing fantastic but the rate of fire is unbelievable 20 rounds per minute that gives you you know a damage per minute in the region of 1700 it, it is unbelievable it basically unloads every three seconds it's pretty much an auto loader you know that you never have to reload it's unbelievable penetration 150 damage 135 nothing fantastic you know to speak of at tier 7 but the thing is if you bounce you know if you don't pen You've got another shell coming in three seconds, you know. So it makes up for any mi mi mistakes, you know, because you're shooting at a long distance, kind of difficult to pen, etc., etc. But it's okay, you know. You got another shell coming. You got another shell coming, and you just pound away, pound away, pound away until you do pen. <laughs> until you, you know, you simply do pen, and with that aim time of 1.5, and that accuracy of 0.3 to 0 0.34 uh, it's it's like I said you almost feel like you're cheating now because this has a um, three second reload time you, you'd think um, okay you know maybe the, there's a disadvantage with the fact that there's not that many shells no you get 60 shells a very decent amount of shells and I I have come close to running out but I have yet to run out of shells, you know. I have yet to run out of shells. That's unbelievable amount of um, uh, shells. It, tr it truly is, you know, 60 shells. And um, so what am I talking about when I, when, when I say that this tank is OP? Oh, pardon me, 830 hit points. <coughs> pardon me, 830 hit points. What am I talking about? three factors when it comes to these ta uh, this tank uh, make it open so the first thing as I just mentioned is the gun that uh, this tank has a fantastic gun I just talked about the accuracy you know the aim time the fact that you can unload so quick etc etc so that is the first thing the second thing the second thing that, that makes this a fantastic tank but well, not, not a fantastic tank but you know a fantastic experience for you guys is the fact that it gets premium matchmaking it gets premium matchmaking and you cannot play uh, beyond tier 8 so you're in a tier 7 tank and uh, normal tier 7 tanks they would be playing up to tier 9 you know uh, this tank you can only go up to tier 8 90% of the time you're top tier you know you are top tier and what is the last thing the last thing and I've done my research on this, you know, I've looked at other reviews, etc, etc. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to call this, because there isn't a term for this. So I, I'm going to give it a term. Premium Camo. This tank has what I call Premium Camo. And well, what is Premium Camo? Well, basically when you, uh, all 
TDs get camo, get a camo rating. You know, this tank uh, has uh, th this TD has that much camo rating. This TD has has th that much. You know, higher, taller tank uh, TD, smaller TD. You know, etc. etc. You guys know how it works. This tank somehow, somehow has much uh, has its camo rating set at a substantially lower level than any other TD that I've played in. And not only that, not only that, but I've noticed, and I and, and I got this from the uh, reviews of this tank from other YouTubers. Once you fire that gun, it's as if you, on normal TDs your camo rating would drop significantly, even if you're hiding in the bushes, you know, you're in cover, etc., etc. Your camo rating is supposed to drop once you fire your gun. With this tank, that does not happen. That does not happen. You can be unloading your gun, unloading your gun, unloading your gun, and you're you're not being detected. You're not being lit up, and the bad guys are looking. You know where are these shots coming from? Who in the hell is pounding me in the bar? You, you know, and the uh, and I and I was kind of scratching my head wondering how to explain this and uh, you know in a nutshell etc etc and that's the best term that I can use that it has premium camo rating so three amazing factors when it comes to the E25 it's fantastic gun premium matchmaking and premium camo let's get into some gameplay and I will show to you exactly what I'm talking about and First game, first game, we're on mines, and keep in mind, keep in mind, I've done my homework, you know, you get into a new tank, and do your homework, have a look at some reviews, jingles, quickie baby, and you're going to have a serious, serious advantage, uh, first, first uh, couple of games I had in this, and I was, literally, I had two games, where I bought the thing, and I heard great things about it, and but uh ooh, ooh, poltergeist did you see that did you see that and uh, i heard great things about this tank but i hadn't checked out any reviews but i knew that i wanted it you know i heard great things about this tank and look at me top tier top tier not even any tier eights and so i quickly had a couple of games and i sucked completely sucked absolutely awful and then i you know, I looked at three, four reviews of this thing, and I said, "Oh, okay, it literally clicked." And 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 that's my new rule. You know, really, really, you know, check out your tank before you get in it. But look at this reload. Let's get into this. First things first. This is going to showcase the gun. You know, the quick reload. I'm down here. I'm in my perfect little sniping position, and. Um, a low profile tank you know uh, all the way in the back what's the big deal you know but it's kind of it's it's kind of showcase the quick reload quick aim time and the accuracy the dead-on accuracy of this gun if anybody 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 uh, anybody you know dares to venture out up on this hill you know tries to take the hill you know I'm just gonna unload and then uh, never mind the fact you know there's a boulder there in the middle uh, as they come up uh, no, my accuracy is going to come into play, and I'm I'm going to unload on them. I'm going to unload on them. There, there's a heavy behind me, and I knew that when I was parking up in front of him. But I knew, you know, my low profile wouldn't kind of hinder him. As you can see, he hasn't even moved. You know, so anybody thinking, oh, you, you're being a bit rude there, Cosmic. But take a look. Am I being detected? Have a look at this. Unloaded on the KV1. One shot. You know, second shot. Am I being detected? Am I being detected? I, I don't have six cents. I, I don't have six cents. Yagpans at this. I think proximity is gonna, you know, be lit up here. First shot. Am I gonna miss him? No, I'm not gonna miss him with that quick reload speed. Absolutely not. And there, there's a bounce. You know, I mentioned that before. You know, low profile, angled armor, sloped armor, and back into position back into position and look take a look at the accuracy of this gun you know right on the money perfectly perfectly right on the money you know standard shells standard shells not premium 
and I, I, I wasn't lit up there. You know, there's this T29 over there. What was that, the KV-2 or something? And uh, he's just looking at, look at the turret on the T29. He's looking around, he's looking around, and he cannot, for the life of him, figure out where, you know, where the shells are coming from. But the thing that does give you away, and you can see now, you know, they've caught on to the fact that uh, you can see my traces, you know, because I have such a quick reload speed that does indeed, you know, give the game away because you're unloading so fast that indeed will give you away. You know, that's the only thing. T25, T25, what? 20, ugh, 25 caught out in the open, buddy. You know, you need to hide. I'm in the E25. E25, you want to pop your head up one more time? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me help you out over here. T29. Alright, he's playing it smart. He's gonna. He's, I remember this, he's gonna be hull down. And there's a, pretty much nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing. No, I can be here all day long. I might have 60 shells, but you know, it's not going to happen. I need to pull back and you know, plant some shells into him from a different angle. Most definitely. No, it's just not going to happen. You can try there. You can try here. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. And take a look at the scoreboard: 10 to 11. And it, I remember looking at the scoreboard, saying, "Okay." I need to carry this game. I need to take the bad guys out. It, it, it doesn't scare me that, you know, they're leading 12 to 10. It does not phase me even in the slightest, you know. I'm not saying I carried this game, you know, completely. But look at this, you know. He's taking this shot. Okay, now it's my turn to take my 20 shots. <laughs> and, you know, and, uh, and I was really scared here, a little bit stuck, and I thought, arty, 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 arty. But, um, but it, it, it doesn't, it, it didn't faze me that we, that we we didn't have the lead or anything like that, because I knew I could perform wonders in this tank. I knew that if I needed to be in town, I could be there in five seconds. If I needed to cap the enemy base, I could be there in five seconds, you know because I've got that 65 kilometer per hour speed limit but um, uh, definitely definitely remember that you're a TD you know and you want the bad guys um, facing you on your terms facing you 100% on your terms if you're caught out in the open or something like that and there's two three bad guys I mean forget about it but you want the bad guys to be coming at you on your terms and what are your terms you know you don't want to be lit up you want to be shooting unloading your gun from all the way in the back using that fantastic accuracy and um, amazing reload speed and aim time and all of that and just you know not even a silent assassin because all you hear is choo, 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 choo. it's not really a silent assassin but remember your traces, you know, remember, look, look at me, I'm lo unloading, I'm not being detected, I'm good to go. And, again, we're, we're still losing, you know, 12 to 13, but these, these guys own millions for a amount of health. And, okay, one heavy, and uh, you saw their arty just fight in frustration. One heavy, one piece of arty, no problem. Look, look at this thing move. Look at me. Unbelievable. So I'm going to take the hill. I'm going to take the hill. Well, I'm taking the hill. There's nobody on the hill. But uh, it's going to be give me a bit of a you know vantage view over the battlefield. You know, can I light anybody up, etc., etc. Looking for Artie. Looking for Artie. It's important to take out Artie. Artie's an easy kill. If you take out Artie, you know, you can't take on the heavy, because the heavy, he, as soon as he lights you up, uh, Artie, Artie, Artie's going to take you out. But luckily for me, you know, my heavy takes out their heavy. So, all that's left is the Artie, 
we got this game in the bag, no problemo. And look, look at this forgiving gun, forgiving gun, because it, it takes me a while to take out this mission. Let me tell you. Miss. Okay, got that shot in. He's dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh dear. Oh dear. And it's such a forgiving gun. It's such a forgiving gun. Uh, and I said to myself, okay, Cosmic, do, do this properly. Come on. End the game. God damn it. <laughs> uh, what a fantastic game. This tank just enables you to do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, there, there's whatever you want to do, you can do in this uh, tank. You want to relocate to a new sniping position. Uh, you want to help out with a, a flank. You know, whatever you want to do. You, you hide in the bushes. It's, it's such an effective little tank. Such an effective little tank. Very happy with the scoreboards. Onwards and upwards. Kick in. Here we go. Oh, what a list. Look at that. Onwards, up, onwards and upwards in the next game. And next we're on Komarin. We're on Komarin and um, in this battle, I was brawling. <laughs> in this battle, I was brawling basically. Because um, um, I didn't want to take the hill, but I wanted to, you know, assist in capturing the hill. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to take the hill, the hill single-handedly, but I could definitely uh, inflict a buttload of damage on the bad guys as they were trying, as they were attempting to capture the hill. Now, how am I going to capture the hill? How am I going to take over the hill with the assistance of my team, of course? I mean, you know, I'm not going to do it single-handedly. Uh, but, uh, but for the most part in this game, I was successful because of the fantastic maneuverability of this tank. The fantastic acceleration and the reverse speed you know the reverse speed is, is, is very very high I, I believe if I recall it was around 20 kilometers per hour so perch myself up here and attempt to get some shots into the enemy as they attempt to take the island don't try and take the island you know yourself you're just a little 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 TD and uh, you're gonna get pulverized if you can, you can, you know, all out brawl or something like that. You know, look at look at that M4. What what is that? An M4? Yeah. You know, I can't. You know, he's smart. He's whole man, but he's he's gonna get lit up from um, uh, by my guys. You know, to the right. But as soon as I'm detected, you see me pulling back straight away, and that's because I know the bad guys are on the left hand side, perched up on that ridge to my left, you know, snipers, etc, etc, and so I've got to be very, very careful about that, very, very wary of that, only 830 hit points, so I want to keep those hit points intact, and because I'm brawling, you know, I'm going to need my hit points, I'm going to need all the hit points, you know, that I can muster, and look, and look what's in front of me, an IS, you know, so, an, an IS, yes indeed, the lemon squeezy, but I, 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 I'm confident, I'm confident I can do this with my quick re reload speed and uh, my quick acceleration and reverse speed, you know, look at, the, see the IS, he, he's not moving, he's not moving, but at the same time, I'm not scared, you know, I'm definitely, definitely, you know, not scared, pull up a little bit too far there, a little bit too far, and at these gentlemen, they think, okay, we, we've got the island, you know, we we have we have established control of the island, but let me tell you, oh no, they have not. <laughs> oh no, you have not, you know. And I, and, and I literally, you know, I got into this game and I said, I'm going to do this, you know, exactly what I'm doing, you know, and, I, and I'm pretty much doing it. Let, let's see how successful am I. IS... And I'm seeing this, and I'm like, oh, he, he's he's just all out, just wants to crush me, like a bug. He's he's just being a bully here. He's just being a big fat meanie, and you're gonna pay for with my quick reload speed. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for thinking. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
that's what you do to a bully. You give him a big bloody nose. And so you, next time you'll think twice about doing that. Picking on a little, little baby TV. And now I have, um, I can move into sniper mode. Yes, indeed, he lemon squeezy. AMX-12T, I know you have terrible armor. So <laughs> I know you have terrible armor and you cannot see me, but I can see you. <laughs> Can't see you anymore. KV1. And uh, totally different game now. I'm in sniper mode. They're all looking around. Who's unloading? You know, who is it? Who, who's that knocking on my head? <laughs> Feeling confident, you know. I'm, nobody's gonna spot me here. Nobody's gonna light me up. I'm good to go, basically, you know. And um, it kind of showcases you, you can sort of, kind of, brawl with this thing as long as you play it smart. And um, I noticed that. I would lose games, I would lose games in this thing if I was cocky, you know, because you can get cocky, you can, you hear me talking right now, you know, I'm the cockiest son of a bitch alive, you know, that's what I sound like, but if I would get cocky, 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 and um, just take the game for granted, you know, not all of these guys are noobs and, you know, some of them are seasoned veterans, you know, like me, and um, if I would take the, the game for granted, I would lose. If I made a stupid, stupid, like foolish mistake, it was usually down to me being cocky. Second reason why you would lose is, you know, you, your team would fail you, you know. Either your team, see that's putting your team down, you know, and that's wrong. It's not the fact that, you know, your team failed you, it's just the other team was better. That's, that's a more appropriate way of putting it. I think, absolutely, because, you know, everybody gives it their all, everybody puts in 100%, does their best, etc, etc, so, you know, on this day, in this battle, my team was better, granted, I played a big role, etc, etc, but, a lot of times when I lose in this thing, you know, it's because the enemy team absolutely pulverized us and I was literally last man standing what can you do you know they're coming at you from all directions you don't even have a turret so what can you do but um, I, I'm not going out of my way here to show you you know my best games in this all of my games in this tank were fantastic were great were amazing were you know, spectacular, and that was all mostly down to my tank. Yes, there's a buttload of my skill involved, 100%, but every single game, oh, it's so enjoyable, it's so much fun, and look, play second, you're going to find this in this tank. Let's move on to our next battle. And for our final game, we're on port, playing standard battle, and I think... I believe that you know all these games that I played in my E25 they all kind of culminated you know came to a head and created this game because I think in this game I used every single aspect of this tank to my advantage I used the premium camo you know I used the quick speed the maneuverability of this thing the fantastic gun up I, I utilized every single amazing aspect of this tank to the max to the full you know and got a great game I was so chuffed about this game I was so happy with this game and we don't even get a victory you know it ends up as a draw I'm not spoiling anything you know we're not here you know to win a game or lose a game we're here to see this tank in action and what we can do and what, what I can do with it and showcasing it for you guys because let me tell you, you guys, you go out and get this tank. So as you as you saw there, I was struggling with which way to go. I was struggling with which way to go. Should I go to the left hand side of the map, where the majority of my team was heading, or should I head over here to the left, where the minority of my team was heading? And my thinking was, okay, it's gonna be, you know, a bit of a, a traffic jam over there. 
you know, it's going to be a bit of a traffic jam over there. Granted, I could have went over there and, uh, you know, held my ta tank, you know, towards the rear and unloaded with this, with this fantastic gun, you know, fantastic reload speed, etc, etc, supporting my team. But at the same time, you know, like I said, it would have been a traffic jam. Possibly, maybe I would have got like, uh, you know, everybody over there would have done okay because there were so many of us. And whereas over here, I got more of a chance with less tanks, I got more of a chance of getting some kills, you know, inflicting damage, you know, because there's less guns over here. So there's something to consider when you're heading with the majority of the team and there's something to consider when you're heading with the minority of the team. So I decided, okay, these scouts, this smart, they're, you know, they're up on that bridge, the motorway. I'm going to take full advantage of the low profile of this tank and attempt to get some shots in uh, between uh, these uh, rail cars and uh, get some shots in without being detected on the enemy team all the way over to the left attacking the majority of my team so let's see what we can do here let it zoom in let it zoom in nice 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 but the thing is you know so much junk shall we say on this on this map you know And look, look how many bad guys, if I can just get a bead on, you know, one of them, two of them, you know, I can just let this gun rip. And I know, you know, the scouts are behind me, they're on the, on the bridge, and, uh, but I know they're, I haven't been lit, lit up, they don't know I'm down here, because of my low profile, my fantastic camo, you know, they don't know I'm down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. good to go. Good to go. Still haven't been lit up. Knock down these walls. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm lit up. Detected. Pull back. Pull back. It's free to free. Early stages of the game. Pull up. You know, who sees me? I'm not sure. Is it the scout? Is it the, you know, the bad guys up ahead? I'm not sure. So, evil ways. You know, get back into cover. Get back into cover. Important to get into cover. Unload my gun one more time. Oh, so close, so close. Detected again. Pull back. Pull back. Ah, there we go. There, there we go. A little medium sniper. Little medium sniper. It's a bitsy. Little medium sniper. Get back into cover. Can I make this work? Come on, gun. Come on, gun. A track. Not bad. Pull up, low profile. Oh, we can do this. Quick, pull back, pull back. Most definitely. Lose that detection. Low profile, nice camo. Again, again, again. Oh, no, 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 no. Medium sniper. <laughs> Medium sniper. <laughs> Medium sniper. <laughs> go, go. God damn it. Medium sniper. <laughs> Need to reevaluate, rethink, you know, because he's, uh, he's he's getting shots on target. 12T, bouncing, railroad tracks are mucking me up. Can I fit through here? Possibly, maybe. Is he pulling back? Yes, he is. Hello. Have you spent all your shells? Oh, I think he's. Yeah, most definitely. He's used up all these shells. So he's reloading. Keep that in mind. Order loader. I just did a review on that. Beautiful tank, beautiful machine. Options, options, options. KV1, heavies, AMX 12T. I can't see this heavy. Full health. Both both of these heavies are full health. Okay, go for attempt to go for the easy kill. Attempt to go for the AMX. Ooh, no, oh, are you kidding me? Another heavy? Okay, low profile, low profile. Low profile is good. We are good. We are good. Respect the enemies over here. There's only one. Oh, oh pardon me. There's two heavies to my left. 
Oh, they're pulling back. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Scout is directly above me. But we're good. We're good. We're good. BK-36. We're in trouble. That's proximity. Scout is directly above me. No, get the hell out of Dodge. Get the hell out of Dodge. Running out of options here. I'm running out of options. As you can see, they're, they're pushing through on the behind me on that flank. No, on the left hand side of the map. And uh, on the right hand side, you know, they're pushing through. So it's kind of like multitasking, multitasking, multitasking. Thank goodness I'm in this low profile tank. But then again, you know, I'm lost quite a few hit points you know I'm on uh, 181 hit points so so kind of multitasking scooting over here prevent you know intimidate the bad guys a bit with my gun over here prevent them from actually pushing through you know and uh, as you can see you know I, I got a few nice shots in and they're pulling back you know there's only one medium over there so I'm kind of Definitely, you know, multitasking, participating in all the battles occurring, you know, in this battle. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm scooting back here, and uh, thank goodness, you know, the scouts are gone, you know, from the bridge. Was there one or two scouts? I can't remember, but they're gone, they're history. So I'm scooting back here. Again, need to help out, need to help out, need to help out. And uh, this is, I do have very very decent gun depression on this thing but uh but it but yeah, it's not that good <laughs> you can't peer over a mountain must uh, definitely this should be a kill this should be a kill this should be a, oh uh, but still you know teamwork who cares at the end of the day he is out for the count and now we're we're 10 to 10 but as you can see they've pushed through on that side they've pushed through on that side and you got to make a decision. You got to make a decision. Do you go over and um, attempt to shut that flank down, or push through and uh, attempt to cap the base? You know, you you, you got to make a decision. So I decide. I decide on basically a tactical retreat. Those guys, uh, they're not lit up anymore. You know, I have no way of knowing exactly. You know where the bad guys are, but I know there's a couple here on this hill in front of this. ARL, you know, but uh, but uh, now I'm going into you know full sniper mode, full sniper mode, and uh, I have a feeling they're going to cap our base, so I make a dash for the enemy base, you know, using my speed, lit up, just be watch, watch, watch the jump, Ooh. <laughs> and lo and behold, there's a heavy right there, there's a heavy, and he's tangling with the AMX. And I know, you know, as long as his rear is to me, you know, we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. At the same time, I know the bad guys. Good to go. I know the bad guys are pushing towards our base, most probably. You know, there's four of them. You know, there's only one lit up there. So, what to do, what to do. Great shot. Thank you very much. Saved your butt. You're welcome, buddy. Do I cap the base? Do I, you know, scoot over here? And, ooh big humongous medium but luckily I'm surrounded by my compadres so you know they're gonna help me out and he's gonna be intimidated by them by this side to flank you know from the side or the rear and there you go you know they're capping our base we start the cap we start the cap T-34 is ignoring me I've got the spore liner on so I receive no damage no damage Unload, unload, unload. We've got to make something happen here. We've got to move along, otherwise it's going to be a draw. <laughs> I, I, I told you guys at the beginning what was going to happen. But uh, it's kind of like, do, do I use my speed and go over there? What should I do? What should I do? There's two capturers on each base. Nah, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Pull back. Assist with the cap in the base. You know, that's 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 my only option, and it and it was a good choice. It was definitely a good good choice. Cosmic carry full back. I'm happy with um, with what I've done here. You know, even though they're already free here. You know, so but um, you know, one of the my compadres might have pulled out, and you know, for some reason, and this way. It's a draw. I'm happy with that. 
I played my part. I pushed this tank to the max completely. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, review of the E25. What a fantastic, fantastic machine. Fantastic, unbelievable machine. Pick up uh, over 100,000 in silver. You know, and I noticed that, you know, you're averaging like 40, 50,000 silver even without you know the ops and stuff like that it's it's a silver making machine truly truly is pick up first place i'm happy with that but i hope you guys have enjoyed my review review of the e25 it truly is a fantastic machine and it truly is you know overpowered in so many ways <laughs> so many ways but the end of the day i'm having a blast in the thing and you guys should do also and uh, as i said i was very very hesitant about releasing this review because i'm afraid like tomorrow i'm going to get on the battlefield with my e25 and there's going to be 20 e25s but anyhow 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 i i hope you guys enjoyed my review go out and get yourself this thing if you can do yourself a favor uh, Wargaming, if you decide to nerf this thing, I will demand a refund. <laughs> and Wargaming, for all the E25s that are about to be sold due to my review, how about throwing me some gold? <laughs> my way. Oh yes, I went there. Take it easy guys. Adios muchachos.